My name is Timo Vuorensala, and I'm the director of Iron Sky, a science fiction movie about the Nazis from the dark side of the moon. You may have already seen our new teaser, but if you haven't, you need to go and check it out at www.ironsky.net, because it's quite awesome, to be honest. The trailer contains the first official material you will see eventually in the film itself. In the beginning of March, we went over to Tampere and set up a little studio to Lielahti, where we shot the first official footage for the Iron Sky film. Our idea was to test the production pipeline, all the way from the green screen shootings to the CGI composition. Let's take a little look at how things went there. One end of the space we were using was covered with a large green screen, which took some time and effort to build. The green screen might look enormous, but we will end up needing quite many more of those, not to mention the actual sets that will dwarf those things. This will maybe give you a sense of the scale of the movie project. No, we are no more in Samuel's mother's basement. The day of the shootings contained a lot of marching around for our extras. A lot of marching and goose stepping around. After the filming was done, it was time for our CGI department to start their work composing the green screen shots and uh, creating the CGI environments and ships. Welcome to the Energy Offices. Uh, my name is Samuli Torssonen and uh, uh, I'm the CGI producer of Iron Sky and uh, also the leader of this visual effect team. So what we thought two months ago was, uh, well, we want to show something, something very cool and uh, we wanted to show the Nazis marching and what's, what's inside of their huge fortress and uh, how their spaceships are leaving. We began to plan the shots in 3D and, uh, and of course uh, figured out that okay, we cannot build ev everything in 3D. So Jussi Lehtiniemi, who is, who is the well-known concept artist of Iron Sky, he started to create these awesome matte paintings. We're using matte paintings uh, as backdrops for the uh, CGI scenes. And doing a matte painting means that we paint everything into a texture. And uh, then we project the texture on a 3D geometry. And at the moment I'm painting the interior of the Nazi fortress. The biggest task was, of course, create all the 3D models because we needed quite a lot of, of 3D assets. We needed the spaceships and the exterior of the moon base and the spaceship hangar. Uh, so there was quite a lot of, of 3D modeling and uh, we have been working about three, three months now total. Now we are going to continue building all the visual effects of Iron Sky, the film and we are going to need lots of more talented guys, artists, 3D artists, whatever, to build all the visual effects. And if you are interested in visual effects or 3D or us, uh, please contact me and uh, let's see if you are up to the challenge and uh, be part of this huge, awesome elite team. <laughs> so, now you had the first glimpse of what Iron Sky will eventually look like. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to demand to see Iron Sky in your city. And also remember to spread the teaser around. It's very, very important for us to get the word around, for us to get distribution and money and whatnot for the production. I'll see you next episode of Iron Sky Signal. Timo Vorensola signing out.